Real estate wholesaling. Investigative journalist goes out and busts real estate wholesalers as scam artists and unethical people. This was an entire video that apparently a bunch of investigative journalists went out to expose real estate wholesalers. I actually got sent this video from a bunch of friends in the real estate wholesaling space. They said, Zach, you gotta watch this video. They're exposing the top gurus in the game. They went into their office. They went in and attacked them about real estate wholesaling, saying it's the worst thing ever. Guys, I just got sent this video. I watched like two minutes of it and then I said, no, no, no. I gotta get my actual reaction to this so you can see, so you can see my reaction to an investigative journalist going in the field and exposing real estate wholesaling. I'm gonna give my opinion and really a reaction from the real estate wholesaling community in general of about wholesaling, about it being illegal, everything like that. So let's get in the video. Let's actually react to this real estate expose exposing the industry as crooked people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we go any further, you need to know that you need to smash that like button and subscribe to get more videos from me. Many Americans buying their house is their single biggest investment and selling one provides their largest liquid asset, which these days can make unsuspecting homeowners the target of unscrupulous buyers. I've lived here for three years uh -huh. and my husband, well, boyfriend at the time proposed to me in the backyard. Nice. Just our family home. Rebecca well, Sutton why. lives in this modest bungalow in an Orlando suburb. That bamboo we planted when we first moved in, so that's, mm -hmm. that's my pride and After setting down roots here, she was surprised when a Tampa-based real estate investment company launched an aggressive campaign to purchase her home. So it started with a neon... Ace Home Offer. That's, uh, that's Rafael Vargas' uh, old company over there in Tampa. Him and Steve Morales. Oh my gosh, this is a total hit piece right here. I, I can already tell right off the bat, like they're going after wholesaling right now. Let's let's keep watching this. Colored postcard, and they said that they were off or interested in purchasing my home. I received letters from like like that from the past, and so I threw it away. With their letters unanswered, the company Ace Home Offer started calling. The, one of the times that I've answered the phone calls for one of these businesses, I asked them how they got my information, and they did just a general property search on the property appraiser's website, which is public information, and that's fair game, I guess. But, but what she didn't guess is that they'd get a lot more personal. And then it graduated to one phone call that freaked me out where he said that he had walked my property, and I'm not comfortable with people who I don't know. Walk not Q. Oh, my gosh. They're going after everyone in this video. That's Quentin Flores. He's not part of Ace Home Offers. He's completely different. He's over there in San Antonio. Oh my gosh, they're they're going after the whole industry in general. Jeez. Walking around my property. But pushing personal boundaries is what critics say the wholesale real estate business is all about. This is hundreds of thousands of dollars you could be speaking of, that you won't know that you're being tricked. Ariane McClure is a real estate attorney. She says the cash for homes tactic has been around for decades, but today's technology is opening the market to more manipulative tactics. You can now look up on Google Maps someone's home. You can pull up their tax records. You can pull up who lives in that home, how old those people are, what their jobs are. They can even pull up if you've lost a job. So they see you've lost a job. You may be desperate for cash. That's a good opportunity for them to come in and offer you a lowball offer. Colonial Town lowball offer. What is a lowball offer? 80% of what the thing is worth, 90, 50. I, I'll give my entire reaction at the end of this video. We're, we're gonna see this entire hit pieces on the whole industry. But the only thing I can really say off the bat is when people need to sell their properties, you don't need to list it every single time. Us wholesalers, and real estate investors, we don't deal with properties that are quick, clean, and easy with these real estate attorneys are dealing with. These realtors do not like real estate wholesalers and investors because they take away market share. Uh, so just understand that bias where we're kind of looking through this video some more, but um, I'll give you my entire take of this. North, here in Orlando, could serve as the postcard community for the business of wholesale real estate. It's a beautiful yet transitioning neighborhood where many of its residents likely haven't priced their home in decades. What they're doing is they're offering you all cash thinking that's going to be something desirable to you, but what they're not telling you may not be getting full value for your home. And in an economy experiencing a housing crisis, amateur... 
so giving you cash in exchange, you're not giving full value for your home. That's what basically every cash transaction is like, right? You go on any MLS on a cash transaction, it's easier, there's less of a hassle. They sell, people give up a little bit of equity to know that things will go easily on the MLS with realtors and real estate attorneys. So with real estate attorneys. So this is kind of where, I mean, she's just saying what a cash transaction is like. Like this guy. What's up guys, Raphael Vargas here over here at my headquarters, the Real Step headquarters. Are wanting to get rich quick. Okay, so this is going after Raphael Vargas. I can, they're gonna, they're really attacking him here. We're gonna see how bad this gets. This is this is almost borderline slander. Rafael Vargas, you guys don't know that he's a real estate wholesaler. He's really uh, changed industries a little bit uh, right now. He's more into the Amazon FBA type stuff. He's doing really well with that. Um, but he's kind of shifted away from real estate wholesaling as of this video. He's definitely feel like he's gonna get back into it. Um, it's a very profitable business. This is a big slander piece. So let's see how bad they're gonna get here. Are eager to cash in on others' hardships. It's immoral. <laughs> it's unethical. It's unconscionable. You're praying on people who are, are susceptible to being victimized. Excuse me? Praying immoral and ethical. What is unethical about buying a property for cash if, if two mutual parties agree to it? I 100% agree. If you're dealing with an 80 year old woman and you're buying a buying $100,000 house for $25,000, that's immoral, that's unethical. But knowing that it needs a lot of work, let's say the older lady doesn't have $30,000 in repairs, she literally has $10 to her bank account, She's got to get rid of that property. What's she going to do? List it on the MLS, hold it for it to be on the market to get top value for six months when she can't afford the taxes, the insurance, and the upkeep of it. What happens if the city decides we're just going to take over the property because you haven't paid my taxes? She gets zero dollars versus the maybe $70,000 offer we gave her. Immoral and unethical. Uh, a lady getting $70,000 versus zero dollars. But let that slide and keep watching this video. Welcome back to Inside Investigations. As you've seen from our previous segment, wholesale real estate investors are a lot like fishermen waiting on a catch. It can take a lot of time, but if patient, a lunker may land on the hook. Well, the people at Ace Home Offer, also known as the Real Step Group, casts a wide net across many states, angling to lure unsuspecting and uninformed homeowners with cash. But on one particular trolling trip you're about to see, really in a deal, they landed a shark. Hey, this is Alex following up with you from the offer I sent you in the mail last week for your property. I think I actually have some really good numbers I'd love to talk with you about. Can you give me a call? Again, this is Alex. My that message was left on our senior investigative producer, Marnie's, cell phone. Since it sounded a bit, well, fishy, she called Alex back with cameras rolling. Hi, um, is Alex there? Oh, yes. Did he give you a call about a property you want to sell, ma'am? Yes, he did. All right, this lady, these people, uh, I'm just telling you, they think they're working for the DA here. They're here to bust someone. They're gonna get arrested. They're going to jail for 50 years. They're, they're going after hardline criminals here. Are you kidding me right now? These phony investigators are, are driving me nuts here, but I can tell the way this call is about to go. Like she's got a little, she's got a smirk on her face. Like she's gonna bust someone. Let's see what's going on here. Well, now's a good time. I, I'm the one that can actually get you to offer for it. You have a few minutes to go through my process. I just need to get an idea on the condition. Over the next 15 minutes, Justin looked up Marnie's home on Google Maps. And it's the corner one, the nice green looking one, right? That's the one. Pulled her tax records. And I'm just pulling up the tax, tax records right now. Could you just confirm how many total bedrooms and bathrooms? Asked questions about the condition of her property. Have you done any, like, updates to it recently? Like, new bathrooms, kitchens, floors? I mean, what is that like? It was as if he was working from a script, written, as you'll see, with manipulation in mind. Once you get the address, you know, on our podio, you have the Google view. Right off the bat, we name a nearby landmark because they're going to know you're the expert in the area just by you naming a nearby landmark. This is an actual video posted on YouTube by Ace Home Offer, also known as the Real Step Group, on how to sway homeowners with deceptive sales techniques. You always want to make sure you go back to exactly where the script is and follow the bullet points that way you can close the deal. Right down to the purpose of the call, to make a profit off your home by buying it at way below fair market value. You know, fair market value. What is fair market value? 
I swear, like it is Zillow fair market value because so many properties on the MLS go for below the Zillow. Realtors go and realtors go and list properties for over fair market value, let's say. They leave the person stuck waiting 12 months for an actual buyer to come through. In that 12 months, the property is vacant. They pay tens of thousands of dollars on property taxes, upkeep, and maintenance. So my offer was gonna be 85K. Again, excuse my handwriting, it's absolutely terrible. So at the closing, because I'd be paying the closing costs, she nuts to herself 85K. That's $1,000, $85,000. Let's say they get the 105, the real sexy price for it, right? $105,000. Wow, you saved, you saved me an evil $25,000, right? So you look here and you think, wow, $25,000 using a realtor saved me. These guys are real scam artists, right? Well, let's look at everything, right? So at the end of it, at $105,000, she would be paying around, she'd be paying, she would be at 90, she'd be paying $6,300 in realtor's fees. That's about 6% of the transaction. $12,000 she had to save, she had to keep the property vacant for. Not even include where she had to actually move because she had to go, right? She had to go to a new job or something, $12,000. And then let's say we're about two grand just to close because you have to pay closing costs as a seller, right? So let's get a little more out of here. So in total, $20,300 in expenses here. So that means she would net around 84000 $700. Looks like who's the scam artist now? Realtors do this all the time. I can give you examples where properties have been on the market for two plus years in my market. I'm telling you right now, number A right here, you would have gotten your cash in about 14 days from me. Option two, you would have got your cash a year later. So yes, the 105 is a lot sexier, but again, think about this. At 85,000, you got 300 extra dollars and it took 14 days. And this is not me cherry picking information. There are sellers where if they list the property, they would have gotten a lot more than what I have offered. And it's probably best that they never took my offer. And I always tell them up front. Doing something like this, my offer is actually more ethical, it's better, and both parties make more money versus having a bureaucracy of realtors, attorneys, closing costs, taxes, holding, and the stress of everything. So next time someone tells you this is unmoral, un unethical, Show them this video. Tell anybody is selling their largest investment, their largest investment, and they don't have any time to truly hash it out and figure out what it's worth by, with anyone else, and someone's really pushing you to do that, then it's trickery. Trickery that's not getting past community business watchdogs. ACE currently has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau due to two unanswered complaints and one complaint that went unresolved. Though those complaints were logged against their marketing methods, Brian Oglesby of the West Florida Better Business Bureau wants consumers to know how to deal with the heavy-handed practices companies like Ace use. As consumers, we should never feel pressured to give up any information on the spot or make any decisions whether a company call you, text you, or visit you at the door. Do your homework and do your research. Check those companies out. Contact a licensed realtor. Contact an appraiser understand the true value of your home so you can make an informed decision. I just sold a house for $120,000 to one on vlog number six. That one sold for $180,000. That was it with financing. That's the most because that, that property was on the market for a month. I knew exactly what the most I would get on the offer as fair market. So let's say fair market is 180,000. That's what it took. It appraised for $220,000 just for the loan to go through with the buyer. So Yes, you have an appraiser going in at $220,000. They're not gonna buy your house for $220,000. They just appraise it at that. But really what the true market is not that. So telling go have your house appraised, it will put fantasy land in your head what the thing's probably gonna sell for actual on the real market. Now, him telling everyone to contact a licensed realtor, that's just manipulation of people just thinking, you gotta use a realtor for everything. You're gonna lose a lot more money than sometimes in a situation selling it to an investor as a consumer and make that right decision.
After that initial phone call with our producer, the so-called investor called back several times to try to close the deal, reassuring Marnie that his offer was fair. But what he didn't know is that her home was appraised earlier in the year for $300,000 more than his highest bid. Pause. Yeah. <sighs> These property appraisers, I swear. The only time we'll actually know is if she put that property on the market and actually got physical, actual offers for it. Now, why don't we go on the MLS and see what people are getting offers on their property and then go do watchdog scam, like, scam alerts on them. Justin, you solicited Marnie. You guys contacted her, and the best offer was $425,000. And anyone that does any research would see that that's a, that's a below market offer. How do you feel about that? I mean, sir, again, it's, it's an investment company. Do you know how that stuff works? Uh, very well, uh, very much we, so. We, we make offers in order to make money. If that, that price works for the seller, that's that's up to them. Yeah, your boss, Rafael Vargas, teaches this course online, and he basically is pretty proud of the fact that he can teach people how to how to trick people out of selling a home for far below market value. <laughs> how, how, how are we, sir, this is pretty ridiculous. We're not tricking anybody. We make offers. If that offer works for a seller, then we buy the house. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's true, there's nothing illegal about ACE's practices. There's nothing illegal about it. So why are we like investigating and going after people and trying to destroy reputations? But the business model is built on taking advantage of people who have no idea what their property is worth. So, based on what experts tell us, it is a patently unfair practice. We felt Rebecca and other homeowners needed some straightforward answers from the man in charge. Mr. Vargas, hey. Dale Cardwell with Inside Investigations. How are you, sir? Good. We'd like to talk to you about your business. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. They're going to his private business now to attack him. Let's unpause it. Let's look at this. Let's watch. About what? About Ace and Real Step. Okay. And how you pressure people to sell their Definitely homes Definitely don't to pressure you. people to sell anything. Well, this is very disrespectful. This yeah. is very disrespectful. You're coming at me. You're recording me. You're recording videos. This is disrespectful. The people that you solicit without their permission are very happy that we're talking to you now. Why it's are coming you guys, from the people that you solicit from? without their permission. You offer prices far below market value. We, we, just like every investor, a lot of investors, there's investors literally nationwide. This is what we do. Rafael, it appears as though you pride yourself on teaching people how to use uh, quickness, uh, landmarks, yep. manipulation, Definitely not manipulation in the conversation Absolutely to not. talk people into selling your anybody. home. Anybody. First of all, people make the, their own rights and their own decisions to selling their property. That's it. They make their own decisions. You guys have a good day. This is ridiculous. But it's Rebecca who's now the one having a good day. I wanted it out there that Ace Home Offer is trying to swindle people. I wanted it to be known and I wanted it to be on somebody's radar. And I'm, I'm glad that he messed with me so that I could have at least put a stop to it or hopefully make him think the next time he goes after somebody. Like I've shown you before, guys, that was a complete hit job. I've shown you, I've shown you examples before, 100%. Sometimes when a property needs a lot of work and a realtor goes in and telling them that they got to they can sell it for all this crazy amount of money and then they get stuck doing it. There's so many examples of that. Again, I can only tell you this. Everyone's saying realtors are the bastion of moral and ethical standards. There's also realtors out there that will, I've heard it before, I'm not going to reveal any names, but lots of realtors, especially in my market, they will convince their seller that they need to accept a lower offer than what other offers were because their listing agreement's coming up soon and they might not get their special commission. It might go to someone else. So have, saying you gotta go to a realtor and everything's perfect if someone's a licensed realtor, I, I'm telling you, this is literally how realtors test go. Ready? Real estate taxes. Oh, I'm a realtor, boom. Like it, it's that simple. Again, it's a little harder. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm not going after realtors here, but you saying that wholesalers are just the, the scum of the earth here versus uh, realtors at this pedestal. I'm telling you right now, I know lots of realtors that are amazing people. I also know realtors that aren't good people. You guys can't go after real estate wholesalers like this. Again, we help a lot of people and we solve a lot of issues and people are thankful for the services that we provide. We're definitely needed in the real estate industry and if we were not in it, you would have sellers actually losing more money. And the last thing I can say here is when you're calling this an unfair practice, they go after us wholesalers, we're very good at acquisitions. We know selling very well. We know how to 
possibly get lower offers when we're talking to people. Again, realtors do the same thing. When you go to an unsuspecting 87 year old person and you convince them that they need to list it for a crazy amount of money so they can get a commission off of you, even when they probably shouldn't sell their home or it's not their best interest to take a lower offer, realtors will convince them to do it because they are high ethical standards. Be careful out there guys. This is just a complete hit job, complete hit piece. I didn't want a video like that being out there without my reaction to it. And I just needed to defend the wholesaling industry as a whole because it's helped a lot of people and providing win-win solutions is what we need to do as real estate investors and wholesalers and just generally as people. Wholesaling is not illegal. It can help so many people. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Again, I'm not as high energy watching something like that. It kind of upsets me a little. But if you like this video, want more content about real estate investing and wholesaling, please give me a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day.